Hello my lovely year 11s, welcome to your GCSE year, well hopefully welcome to your GCSE year, um, we know that the past couple of years things have been up, down, sideways but if all goes to plan this is the year you're going to be taking your GCSEs and the most important thing is do not stress about this because that is just going to be counterintuitive, I don't want to stress about this and number two I'm really here with you every single step of the way. If there is anything that you need from me, just drop me a comment down below and say, oh, I really need help with this, or I think it'd be really good if you did this. Drop me a comment down below and I'll see if I can work out a way to do it for you. Um, because that is what I am here for. That is my role, to help you get through your GCSEs. So what I want you to do, what I want you to focus on when we are going into year 11 is not missing things out. So now I know that's really, really easy for me to say, but um, if you say like you've got a dentist appointment or you have to leave school early for a, like a match or something, you might miss a lesson. But in that lesson, you don't know whether that's going to be like a two mark question on the exam, not going to come up on the exam, or whether it's going to be like a six mark question on the exam. So the really thing, the really key thing I want you to focus on at the moment is not missing out anything. Now, obviously there's going to be stuff in year 10 that, or maybe even year 9 when you start your GCSEs, that you, you've done, you've forgotten, and you're not like 100% on. So while we are slowly ramping up to year 11, I just want you to take a little bit of time and go through and check, do I actually know everything that I should know? And if you don't know, then you can go and like fill in that gap. But finding out where the gaps are the, from year 10 is the key important thing that I want you to focus on at the moment. And then once you've done that, just keeping track of where you are for year 11 going through and then really, really like putting the emphasis on yourself that if you miss a lesson, go and find out a way to catch up the lesson. Go and find a video to watch to catch up the content, go and copy up the homework, do whatever it is you need to do to fill in that gap. Now, I know like me saying that is really, really easy. It's like, oh, how on earth do I do that? Well, there are two really, really easy ways that I've set up for you to help you do that. Now, the first one is I've just written you a really, really long checklist. I've taken the specification, which is super long and boring, and I've just turned it into a really, really simple checklist. And if you sign up my mailing list, then you can get it for free download. The other thing that I've done for you is I've developed a whole course and you can get free access to this course, which will have all of the videos in order and then a quiz after it so that you can go, oh yeah, watch the video and then use the quiz to work out whether you actually understood what was in the video. And this will like keep track of everything that you're supposed to know and it will point out to you where there are gaps, like if there's a whole section that you just haven't got ticked off uh, on the course, it really, really easy, quickly, easily point out to you where you need to know. So this is a great way of keeping track of what you're doing. Um, without actually making like putting loads and loads of effort into it and stuff. Links for all of these are in the description and there'll be loads more coming out about it soon. We are not at the point in the year where you need to be doing loads of exam papers but there are a few little things you can do like finding flashcards. Now making flashcards is important, making notes is important but um Part of the, the finding, the making flashcards and making notes is like writing down stuff. What I would like you to do is actually do that in note format. So making your own notes, kind of like adding examples, adding in kind of like hints, tips that make sense to you in your head. Because revision guides are great, but they're not personalised to you. If you make notes, they can be personalised to you. So when I say you find flashcards, is that so many people have done flashcards and put them out there for free, you don't really need to bother doing it. One thing you do need to do is check flashcards of decent quality, but I'm sure I don't need to explain to you what Quizlet is. Just go in there and find somebody else's flashcards and use them for free. Chances are they're gonna be pretty good. But actually getting into the habit of doing a set of flashcards while you're on that stop on the bus, so from stop here to stop there, just get your phone out and do a set of flashcards. That is a really, really good habit to get into as quickly as possible uh, for loads and loads of various different subjects. So I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you extra you think that I can do for you or something that you want, like I sent you a link to it. Um, I am here to help you. Ah!
ouch. This is why in some videos I like explain scratches. <laughs> 